In this video, we're revealing how to make money on Snapchat and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasilo, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and the easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days with this new method. Check it out now. All right, guys, so the first way to make money on Snapchat is what is known as print on demand, and it's something that allowed me to go from like zero dollars a day to a hundred dollars a day to even a thousand dollars a day selling like Jesus t shirts back when I was younger. Now here's the thing, I didn't actually have to buy a bunch of t-shirts myself, I did not have to ship the t-shirts myself, and in fact, somebody else would literally do all that hard work for me. All I had to do was just kind of like upload the designs that I enjoyed, and then we would make money in passive income based off of that entire business model, and there's a lot of people using Snapchat to go ahead and sell their t-shirts without ever having to like do the shipping and handling of the merchandise themselves. As you can see, there's literally people like, for example, David Dobrik, where he'll literally put like merch and stuff like that on, on like little designs on these like sweaters and hoodies. But the craziest thing is, he's never actually the one that creates the hoodies himself. You could literally partner with somebody else for free with like a Shopify store, and you could literally see that there's this thing on Shopify where it's called Printful, where you could create and sell custom products online, and the only time you have to buy the products is after you already made the sale, which means there's virtually no risk to you. And the craziest thing is if you like to have some type of design work and whatnot, even if you don't have millions of followers and subscribers, there are literally ways with Snapchat that you could sell your custom products and have your own t-shirt brand, swimwear brand, hat brand, dresses, you know, skirts, look at all these things, earrings, sports bra, flip flops, bags, phone cases, um, leggings, you know, subliminal socks that you could have prints on everywhere, necklaces, joggers, jackets, all these things you could essentially sell for free on your Snapchat without having any experience and without actually having to spend your own money. And this is exactly how this works. You know, you can literally create like a Shopify website um, for really affordable costs, and just like that, you can literally have hundreds, if not thousands, of products for sale that you could use Snapchat as a marketing channel. And you can see some of these are very simple. You just put the word views or welcome back, or maybe some type of inside joke that you could create from the people that go ahead and watch you, or maybe you have a cause, like you want to support some type of cause or charity, and you want to give a portion of that you know, to them, like for example, that's literally what Ivory Ella did, which is like these simple t-shirts with just like an elephant on the back, and yet they were able to do $10 million in annual sales and donates 10% of the profits to like elephants on other charities. You could literally go ahead and create these types of brands and whatnot for free when you just partner with like Printful when you create a Shopify store and start selling any one of these products. Like I said, how it works, you upload the design and you just you know go ahead and sell it on your Snapchat, right? When someone makes a sale, this is exactly what happens. Your customer pays you, someone makes the purchases and pays um, you set at retail price. You pay Printful, Printful charges you fulfillment, shipping, and applicable taxes, and then you make a profit. You only get charged after you've made a sale, so you could essentially have thousands of products on Printful and only have to buy them after you've already made the sale. So you can see exactly how crazy this is when you see like how much they sell. Like your cost would be at $17. You can see when you know someone like David makes a sale, for example, for $40 of this hoodie. You know, you could see if he charges $40 and he sells just 10 a day, you know, his cost is only $17. And he only has to pay that after he sells it for 40, and he can profit $228 day. $8 per day with a hoodie that he doesn't have to print himself, he doesn't have to ship himself, he doesn't have to worry about any of that stuff, right? And the crazy thing is this can be done literally anywhere in the world. They have it in Latvia, Spain, New North Carolina, Canada, Texas, Mexico, Australia, Japan, Brazil, um, all of these places around the world, they do shipping in the UK, right? So you could see that why this is very valuable if you want to build some type of Snapchat influence or you want to start creating a cause of a charity that you want to support. One of the easiest ways to actually make money from Snapchat is uh, literally going ahead and creating an e-commerce store and go ahead and sell your products. The second way that people are making money with Snapchat is actually going ahead and selling filters on Etsy 
that are Snapchat filters. Now you can see exactly what this is. A very popular one are wedding filters, right? Whenever someone has a wedding and they're like, oh my God, someone's like getting married. You can literally go ahead and sell customized wedding Snapchat geo filters that you can essentially let people buy it from you if you are some type of good designer or whatnot and you can create these. You can literally sell these on Etsy and make money from the fact that people are literally going on Snapchat and literally be like, oh, look at me, I'm getting married, da, 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 like, and everyone's just kind of like putting their own filter. This is a pretty lucrative thing because you could create some really good passive income on the side, especially when you realize that there's not actually that much competition that is on here on Etsy, which is really good for beginners just getting started that wanna make money with Snapchat, but they don't wanna build their own audience like what other people do. Some people just wanna make money from you know, the trend instead of actually you know, becoming the influencer, so to speak. How I made a lot of money from Snapchat is literally I use it to build my other social media platforms. So back in the day, you know, I was literally, you know, trying to make a bunch of YouTube videos, but no one was watching it, right? But for some reason, people were finding me from Snapchat just because I was just crazy at the time, right? Especially when I was on Snapchat a lot regularly. So I would literally just drive people from Snapchat to watch the YouTube videos, right? And just sharing exactly what I was creating on YouTube. And just like that, you could see exactly what happened, right? If I show you in the past 365 days, or in the past lifetime of this like account, you see that I was starting to share on uh, my Snapchat journey about like in the February, March area, and we started making like $2 a day, right? And I was like, oh wow, this is crazy. And I remember one day it got to $10 a day and I got so excited because I was like, $10 a day, that's like $300 a month in passive income. So I started posting more on my Snapchat and getting more people to watch my YouTube videos and whatnot, and it helped me grow, like for example, on YouTube. And then it got to like a point where I was doing $100 a day, and I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. I didn't know this was possible, right? And that's what happens when you get people from Snapchat to like other platforms like your YouTube or Instagram. It tells that social media that you are somewhat popular and it helps you rank for certain search terms, what, right not? And as you can see, within that first year, it got to the point where it got $400 a day and that was already life changing. I was like, this is crazy, right? Not only do I get to like make posts that I like on Snapchat, but I could use it to build a business on other platforms so I'm not just dependent on making snaps every single day. Like, hey guys, look at this. Like my money would only depend on how entertaining I could be on a daily basis on Snapchat. I would essentially be like, you know, some type of caricature, like anime person that's just making videos. And if I'm not like entertaining on Snapchat for the day, I wouldn't make money. But if I could use it to jumpstart other businesses that are a lot easier to build, then I would also double down on that. But of course, it entirely died, right? And it got to the point where it was only at $7 a day. So you need to have some type of consistency with it, which is why when like the lockdown happened and everyone was just like freaking out, I was like, you know what? I should probably focus on creating as much content as possible. And then you can see exactly what happened. It like spiked like crazy, which I've never seen it spike that fast before, where you can see in the past 365 days, went from $7 a day in August to $300 a day, to $500 a day, to $900 a day. And then you can see in the past you know, 28 days, we're now averaging about like $1,000 a day or so. And it just blows my mind because a lot of this wouldn't have happened if I didn't leverage Snapchat to literally start growing my YouTube channel. Another way you could go ahead and make money with Snapchat is through affiliate marketing, uh, which is a really interesting way that I enjoy making money because I can make money without actually having to create the product myself, without having to do the shipping or handling. I don't have to build a huge team. I just need a marketing channel like Snapchat to promote someone else's product, right? And you can see exactly how we end up doing with affiliate marketing. We pulled in about like in the past 30 days, $51,000 net for a product that I did not have to create, ship, or handle myself. And in the past seven days, we've netted about $6,000 net once it was like updates. As you can see right here, and you know, some of these days, I mean, on the low end, we're making like $500, but like yesterday we made like $2,500. This day we made nothing, but the day before that we made like $4,800. And a lot of it actually stemmed from what I learned from promoting products on Snapchat. In fact, I remember back in like 2018, there was this product that I did not have to create myself. That was literally, I could sell through ClickBank, which is a free place that you could go ahead and sign up for and get access to all these affiliate marketing products. We could essentially go ahead and promote products that you don't have to create yourself. Like look at this, this guy is an e-commerce expert who's been featured on Forbes, Entrepreneur, Buzzfeed, has made millions of dollars, and he'll literally do the selling for you. And if someone goes ahead and buys from your Snapchat, 
you literally get $575 per commission, right? And you don't even have to be the expert. You could just be interested about it. You could share it on your Snapchat. And if someone goes and buys, you could literally get $575 in commissions from that. So I remember back in 2018, you know, like I had a decent Snapchat following and whatnot, and there was a launch that was happening on ClickBank of one of my mentors that was launching their products and offers. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and sign up for it, because it's free to sign up and literally anybody can sign up for it. And what they did is they gave me a special link that literally looks something just like this, where if I would send people to it from my Snapchat, and people signed up for the training where these multimillionaires would literally do a free training presentation for me, and then at the end would allow people to join their training or mentorship program. I remember I was like Snapchatting like crazy, like getting people to go ahead and sign up for this training because I did not have to be the expert. Someone else was the expert and they would just sign up for this free training that someone else would go ahead and create. And when someone would go ahead and buy, I would get a commission from it without having to do any of the selling myself. It was a model that I didn't realize was actually very lucrative and I could just focus on marketing channels like Snapchat, like YouTube, like Pinterest, like my blog, to go ahead and acquire these people to go ahead and build some type of attention so that I could go and sell someone else's product. And it's a concept that completely changed my life and allowed me to live in Bali and um, allow me to interview all these people that make a bunch of money online. Like this 11 year old girl on my podcast turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, all because of what I learned from Snapchat. And if you want a faster and easy way to make money online than the message that said I showed you today, then sign up for this week's free workshop where we have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days. Sign up for it in this week's free workshop below as well as check out my podcast right here and right here. Hopefully, so love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!